So the housing for the uh, LIFO arrived yesterday. And the size, let me see, in comparison to the 12 volt. So that's the size of the 12 volt. I think uh, size wise it's a little bit less than 2 12 volt housing. So if this is the 12 volt, then the, it wouldn't fit uh, two housing. So that, that makes sense. So this is two battery pack, 12 volts and 12 volts. So in series, 24 volt. I, I thought I could fit uh, three of these. However, it looked like it. we can only fit two. So uh, that means I couldn't fit a battery pack to make 48 volts so this is just good enough for 24 volts so the uh, battery terminals are connected also the uh, meter is also connected so this is what it looked like so this is what it looked like 100% of so uh, now I'm just going to uh, put it into the housing. Installing the battery inside the uh, casing is a little bit more uh, difficult, challenging. The, the reason is the, uh, the lithium cells are heavy. And so you got to figure out how to uh, insert the battery pack uh, into the housing. Also, there's plenty of space. So uh, and and the cable is short, so I'm just I just finagle the the battery into the housing. Later on, I'll buy more insert and uh, buy more, buy a longer uh, red cable, so that I can uh, install the insert all around and uh, fixturing it uh, properly, insulated, not insulated, sorry, supported properly. So. Right now, for the sake of testing, um, we don't need to uh, add the insert at this point. Later, I'll, uh, I'll add the insert. So, uh, I'm just going to close the housing and then do some testing with the inverter. So, again, with the battery inside the casing, uh, let's see, 26, 100%. So, I'm going to connect the uh, inverter to the uh, battery so the battery is connected to the inverter turn the uh, fuse on it's on and then turn the inverter on it's on So later, I'm going to start testing the uh, inverter connected to the house. So uh, I could do that actually. Maybe I should start. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to connect it to the house. So I have the house connected. So no PV. The battery is 26. Output is 60 hertz. Load. Look like the load is not so much. Huh. Huh. It's being used though at 25%. Battery 1 amp. interesting that the load it's experiencing is zero percent I don't know if that's good or bad I have to see the inside of the house well the uh, the line is off the backup is on so it's it's taking load from the inverter so the house load must be small so the inverter has been running for around 45 minutes 
So the load is being detected at 4%. 100 VA. Uh, it means that since watts and VA are same, there's no motor load. And draw from the battery is 6 amp. So for this to be discharged, it'll be a while. So I'm going to uh, connect the uh, lawnmower and see what happened. So I connected the uh, lawnmower. So I'm gonna turn it on and see what the load is like. So it actually complained. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, anyway I'm going to mow the lawn and and see how quickly this thing will discharge. So the lawn mower was running for 15 minutes. So it's detecting load of about 80%. I stopped lawn mowing, so uh, that's why uh, originally the, the load was at 80%. Now it isn't. Okay, so the load is at 3%. With the lawn mower running, it would be like at 87%. The uh, lawnmower rating is 1600 watts. That's why it's like complaining. Still, the battery hasn't barely moved. So, yeah, 26.3, 26.1 here. So, originally it was 26.6 here, and it was 26.1 here. Still 26.1. So, uh, that would be true. This is something else, not true.